Hello guys, welcome back to with Trevor Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to hashing issues on a PC and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into it. So the first one is all about you have to make sure that you the graphic drivers on your system is up to date. That is the first thing. So to do this, you just have to go over here to this PC, right click and go to properties. Now from here, you just have to go to device manager. From here, you have to click on display and adapters. You have to expand this. And as you can see, which is AMD Radeon RX 5700. Right click on this and go for update drivers. And you have to go for search automatically for drivers. And as you can see, this is up to date. This is what you have to do. If you are having any update, you can update via this. The graphic drivers will be up to date. This And this is the first step which you have to try out. And after trying this, if it's not working, then we have next one. Next one is all about you have to update your windows. That is what you have to do. So to do this, you just have to go over here and you have to type settings. Go over here to the settings. From here, go to update and security. And from here, you have to update. As you can see, this is the latest version. We are on the latest version. There is no issue with this. So this is also done. And moving on, after trying this, if it's not working, then we have solution number is next one. That is, you have to close the background running task. Sometimes as you can see that many things will be running in the background that will be defecting us. So you just have to go to the background over here on the task and you have to make sure that no big things is running in the background. And if it big things are running in the background, then purposefully you have to close this. For example, like this, you have to select, for example, if it's a Microsoft Store, you have to select this right click and go for end task and it is will be done. So this is what you have to do. So moving on to the full solution is all about, as I said, you have to run the game as administrator. So that is very important. You have to run the game as administrator. And to do this, you just have to, what you have to do is you just have to imagine that this is the game, which game is crashing. For example, if it's crap game, Brawlhalla, MA4, Halo Infinity, Forza Horizon 5, depends on it, whatever the game it is, you just have to right click. So you have to uh, go over here in the properties, then uh, not here. I'll be showing you guys out. What you have to do is you just have to go over here on the Steam. Then from here, you just have to select the respective game. You have to go to properties. Now from here, you can go to local files and browse the game, which means you have to navigate to the exact where the game is installed. You have to navigate to that particular folder. As you can see, this is the folder. Now you just have to select the game, right click, and you'll be having an option called run as administrator. So once you run the game as administrator, there will be most probably there will be not be any kind of issue. But even you have to check whether that's enough or not. And even if after trying this, if it's not working, then we have solution number next one. So next one is all about you have to uh, do the disable the uh, antivirus. That is what you have to do. You have to disable the firewall program. So that is sometimes, you know, uh, this can fix the issue up. So you just have to uh, follow. Sometimes I'm not saying must but uh, there are some cases where this has worked for uh, many so in order to do this you just have to go over here on the search and you have to search for uh, windows defender you have to search for windows defender firewall open this one now from here as you can see we have an option called L, uh, turn windows defender you just have to click on this and now what you have to do is you just have to click on turn on windows defender turn off is it has been set into this one so it is very important that you have to uh, disable windows firewall because if it is turned on then most probably you'll be having the trouble so you just have to make sure this is turned off then if it is turned off then you just have to go for ok and you have to try with uh, go for ok save this up then you just have to restart your pc and you have to check whether you are done with the issue and even after trying this if it's not working then we have to follow the next instruction so next instruction is all about you have to follow with the same so what you have to do is you just have to go over here you have to press windows and i key all together so that will take you to this and from here you have to go to update and security now from here what you have to do is just have to go to windows security and from here there is an option called as you can see we have an option called virus and threat protection you have to click on this now from here what you have to do is just just have to scroll down and under wire center production we have manage setting so you just have to click on manage setting right then what you have to do is you just have to turn on what you have to do is you just have to turn off real time you just have to turn off real time go for yes this is very important then that is what you have to do along with this one and try with the game most probably if it's not working then as i said earlier you have to close uh, the background apps which is very important you have to close the background apps 
as you said earlier in the same way if you have to check for the task manager also then if you also have to check for if your particular game which is running right now make sure that the particular game is not having any kind of uh, as i said it is not having any kind of update if it's having any kind of update you have to update the game as you can see if it is on the steam you just if you go for the steam option you will be having the options uh, in order to you can check for any kind of installation is there you can go for install as well as if you are having any update you can uh, go for the update and you can update the game and most probably you'll be having notification here that is also very important then moving on to the next solution is all about sometimes you know uh, you have to uh, sometimes after trying all these things the next one is all about you know you have to reinstall microsoft visual c++ which is the last one after trying the microsoft reinstall i mean uh, the microsoft visual c++ i have already installed this you have to see whether it's going to make any changes and if it's not making any changes then most probably sometimes you have to uninstall it and you have to re-download it back from the microsoft official website even that's going to help you guys out so these are the basic things which you have to try out when a game is crashing on a pc and this is how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out